In a world of convenience and connectivity, there lie hidden fears found in the shadows. We live in a world where people are haunted by the echoes of past traumas and the weight of societal expectations. In a world where anxiety and mental health struggles are often overlooked, let us see if we are able to find a way to confront our inner demons and find strength to rise above the paralyzing grip of fear. Hello well wishers and welcome to my channel Aspiring Minds. In today's video, I'm going to discuss a very very relevant short story called The Elevator by William Slater. So grab your virtual seats and let's begin. William Slater was an American author known for his works in science fiction, particularly in the young adult genre. His stories often explore the themes of psychological suspense and the supernatural. So in this story we have Martin he's the protagonist or the main character he's a thin 12 year old boy who moves into a new apartment with his father next we have Martin's father a parent to Martin who works from home and is often irritated and frustrated with Martin's fears and anxieties and is not able to help his son at all thirdly we have the fat lady she is a mysterious and unsettling woman who repeatedly appears in the elevator causing Martin distress and fear. The short story The Elevator is written by William Slater that deals with the psychological fears and anxieties of the protagonist Martin as he grapples or struggles with his fear of elevators and a mysterious encounter with a strange woman in his building's elevator. The main point of this story revolves around facing one's fears and the consequences of allowing fear to control one's actions. It explores the themes of psychological terror and the impact of anxiety on a person's life. So I'm quickly going to take you through a detailed summary part by part of the short story. So the story introduces Martin, a 12-year-old boy who moves into a new apartment with his father. Martin is immediately uncomfortable with the old and unsettling elevator in the building. It is described in the first paragraph of the story itself. It says, perhaps this was because of poor lighting and the dirty walls. Perhaps it was because of the door which never stayed open long enough and slammed shut with a loud changing noise. Perhaps it was the way the elevator shuddered or shook each time it left a floor as if it was exhausted. The stairs were no better. Martin tried them one day after school. There were no windows and the lights were not working. And in the middle of all this, imagine he lives on the 17th floor. Next, we see that Martin's fear of elevator stems from the poor conditions that the stairs are in and the elevator is in along with his general anxiety about being in enclosed spaces if i use a modern day word claustrophobia his father however does not understand this fear and he thinks that you know this is not something which is very important and requests him to take the elevator instead of the stairs the father is not at all thinking deeply about how to bring the child out of fear next we see that one morning martin meets a fat lady in the elevator who stares at him constantly despite feeling trapped and uncomfortable he dismisses her behavior as odd the lady is described as she had large fleshy cheeks and no chin just a huge mass of neck her blue eyes were tiny but sharp they seemed to be boring into martin's face she was wearing an old green coat that ballooned around her so this is how the lady has been described so you can see one after the other there are repeated fears that young martin is having to come face to face with now as martin repeatedly meets this fat lady he starts feeling all the more scared. He begins to wonder about what are the exact intentions of this woman and why is she ever present. One day she is 
getting into the elevator from a certain floor the next day she is getting off at another floor so martin now confides into his father about the fat lady's behavior but his father is just not ready to listen he knows that his son is crying but he does not pay heed and it is only when martin comes to the room he starts crying poor little young boy he doesn't know what to do in this situation his fear intensifies and then he again meets the lady where the fat lady stops the elevator and taunts him martin's fears reach a breaking point leading him to injure himself while attempting to avoid the elevator so he thinks that today i'm not going to take the elevator and as he is climbing the stairs he falls injures his leg there is no conversation between him and his father on the way to or through the hospital so you see talking and communication are things which can solve problems but the father is just not ready to sit and talk to the son his father is further disappointed with the son and martin starts feeling all the more scared and he is not being able to come to terms with the situation ultimately we see martin's father leaves him alone in the elevator on the way back to the hospital like you know when they have come back home he tells that i need to go and meet Mrs. Almond now even though Martin pleads he requests let me go with you i want to visit her too the father does not listen ultimately the door has shut already afraid to be in the elevator alone the father asks and then he tells what grow up martin after this the elevator starts moving up it stops at level 10 where the fat lady again is seen waiting and she moves into the elevator and then she puts you know she presses the stop button and then the door closed and the elevator began to move this is the first ever time when she talks to martin she says hello martin and laughed and pushed the stop button so you can see there is a lot of uncertainty the story is left open ended we don't know what exactly has happened towards the end but we see that martin is ultimately left alone to face the lady so there are four major themes or four possible ways in which we can read and interpret the story further we have fear and anxiety confronting fears isolation and helplessness and the last one which is perception versus reality let us look at each of them in details the elevator delves deep into the theme of fear and anxiety particularly through the lens of martin's experiences his fear of the elevator is not just a simple discomfort but a paralyzing phobia that affects his daily life the story portrays how irrational fears can take hold of an individual leading to anxiety and paranoia that sense of madness that is felt martin's constant fear of being trapped in the elevator reflects the nature of anxiety and how it can even distort one's perception of reality throughout the story martin's reluctance to confront his fear of the elevator only increases his anxiety and leads to negative consequences that is he hurts himself Despite his discomfort Martin repeatedly avoids taking the stairs opting to face his fear head on however his inability to confront the fat lady and assert himself in the elevator shows what are the consequences of avoiding one's fears the story highlights the importance of acknowledging and addressing fears rather than allowing them to control one's actions and decision making abilities Martin's experiences in the elevator contribute to his sense of feeling alone, isolated and helpless. He feels trapped physically and psychologically, unable to escape the confines of his fear. The dark and claustrophobic atmosphere of the elevator further adds to his feeling of being alone amplifying his sense of vulnerability as martin is struggling with his fear alone the story highlights the isolating nature of anxiety and how it can make individuals feel powerless in the face of their fears we also see that the story blurs the line between perception and reality 
mirroring Martin's internal struggle to differentiate between genuine threats and irrational fears. The ambiguity, the uncertainty surrounding the fat lady's intentions serve as an example for the boundaries which are blurred between reality and imagination when gripped with anxiety. Martin's perception of the fat lady as a lady who can be a kind of danger reflects his heightened sense of madness that he feels challenging the readers to question the validity of their own thought processes. So we see ultimately it is we don't know whether it was actually a threat for Martin or not. However, he felt it as a possible threat for his life. So ultimately, Martin's failure to confront his fear of the elevator ultimately leads to his physical injury and emotional distress. The ending serves as a stark reminder of the importance of facing one's fears head-on instead of avoiding them because it only leads to the feeling of helplessness and it exaggerates the grip of anxiety. So overall, the elevator serves as a tale from which one must learn that is we should not succumb to irrational or illogical fears instead we should confront them to gain a sense of agency authority and control in one's life so that's it from this video i hope you liked it do hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more such future updates thank you for watching bye